everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Kith, Miami with all-pro wide receiver Antonio Brown. Going to do some sneaker shopping tonight. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Let's go. AB, you're a big Air Max guy. Yeah. I read that the Air Max 95, is that still your favorite? I mean, that used to be one of my favorites coming up. You know, it was always like a sporty shoe, mm -hmm. and it always stood out because obviously it was athletic sporty and it looked good, so you could rock it while going out. We saw you training on the beach, Jim Jones, yeah. a couple days ago. Yeah. When you train, are you into like new technology? You know, we have the Vapor Max Plus, we have this yeah. Vapor Street Fly Knit. Well, I usually try to stay consistent on what's comfortable for me and what work for me. You know, you usually try to stay consistent with that same feel that give you that comfort to be able to be as productive as possible, especially when training. Absolutely. When you were young, yeah. I know you were a landscaper, your first job. Yeah. Were you buying sneakers with that money or what? Absolutely. You know, sneakers is everything coming up. You know, as a kid going to high school, everyone judge you on your shoes. So, you know, you got to have the right shoes to, you know, put your right foot forward. So. Definitely. We saw in your closet you have the South Beach LeBrons. Yeah. Bunch of models. Do you like the South Beach colorways of Air Maxes of and course. what they're rolling out? Of course. This is the Miami feel. Flamingo vibe, Miami till, Dolphins. So, you definitely love these. Yeah. yeah. South Beach, everything. AB, classic Miami shoe, white on white Air Force Ones. Yeah. Do you blow through these? Of course, you know, those are the one time where, where you can pull them out and make sure they're super crispy, but after that, it's pretty much a wrap. You ran track in high school. Did you look up to any track stars? Yeah, Michael Johnson definitely was one of those guys you looked up to coming up. He always in the Olympics, uh, mm -hmm. running great times and uh, blazing. What about football players? Did you look up to any of them? Who was it? Of course, you know, there's a lot of guys right here based out of Miami, you know, Santana Moss, Andre Johnson, Chad Johnson, yeah. Roscoe Parrish. A lot of guys come from right around here. Definitely. Now, friend of yours, wide receiver Odell Beckham, signed a yeah. lucrative deal with yeah. Nike, had an SF Air Force One. What's it yeah. like for, you know, you guys running the league when it comes to being wide receivers and him getting that deal? Well, that's a tremendous honor. You know, Odell Beckham, one of my close friends, mm -hmm. a type of guy who set the standards, able to erase the, unlock the codes, that allow other guys to get other bigger opportunities. So by him getting the huge Nike deal, just opened up leverage for a lot of other guys and Definitely. a lot of up and coming players, you know, to get marketing well and, and uh, making money off the field. AB, you Instagrammed a couple days ago, touchdown Eddie Brown, your dad, yeah. and he's wearing some rare Nike Air Barrages, 1995. Yeah. Did you get a lot of your swag from him? I mean, it's just a part of our DNA. Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, you know, it's my dad. Growing up, seeing him play was really inspiring. You know, it gave me motivation to, you know, play football. Snoop Dogg, custom Snoop. Jordan 5s, with your face on it. Yeah. A rap legend, what's it like? I mean, I mean everything. You know, obviously his humble experience growing up, seeing Snoop Dogg only be a great rapper, mm -hmm. but seeing him transition, not only a great father, but a great businessman in every asset he does. Obviously, he's he loved the Steelers. Yeah. And uh, he's my uncle. I love it. You know, reaching out to him, talking to him about anything. His family. You know, he's always available, and you know he loves his Steelers. So. Yep. You know, we want to make him proud every Sunday we go out there. Custom cleats, you work with Corey Payne, right? Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. And he did art for you in the closet that we saw. Yeah. One thing I like about you is you really send messages in your cleats. Yeah. You know, Ryan got hurt, you did custom cleats for him. How do you build with Corey during the season? Corey is all about the vision, you know, mm -hmm. what we're trying to, what message we're trying to get across and what we're trying to stand for. So we usually talk early in the week or before the month, just to kind of game plan each week and uh, get the shoes towards our vision. Yeah. And in regards to whatever the vision, just bring in awareness to the vision and uh, putting our best foot forward. We have Jordans here. We have the 10s, you know, the Tinker 3s, yeah. Jordan 1s. Do you remember yeah. your first pair of Jordans? I don't remember, but I remember my mom used to tell me she was just standing in line for them. Really? And I never really believed her because, you know, I never went to see it. The hype around how people lined up and yeah. what she had to go through to get them. So when I finally seen what my mom had to go through to get in line is how many people was hungry to want them. You know, it made me have a, such appreciation for them. And you know, I see pictures on, on your Instagram of your kids, the Gucci sneakers yeah. and Balenciaga Triple S for your daughter. Yeah. Do you spread that from what your mom and dad gave you to them? Of course, you know, having the proper apparel promotes confidence in anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look good, you feel good, you're able to present yourself well and, and do a well job. So I always believe in from growing up, from my family, anyone family.
in your closet. We saw a ton of triple S Balenciagas, but a lot of people saw you wear them in the God's Plan video. How did yeah. that come about? That's a long story, you know, I can't really tell you. All right, give us the short story. Yeah, he was in Miami doing a little community service video shoot, and it was God's Plan. And then you were in it. God's Plan. What was it like to be in it and see that video blow up in such a good cause? Well, it's such an honor, you know, Drake is such a humble spirit, great person. Uh, just to be around that type of guy and, and see him work, and see how the passion and the work ethic, the team around him would just inspire. And it was great to give back to Miami. Of course, community service, doing the right thing. Yeah. And shedding some light on the community here in Liberty City, so that's a good honor. Well, we talked about everything now is the easy part. Get to browse the shelves, yeah, pick up get, some let's sneakers. Get, let's get fly now. Let's do it. Get a size six in woman. Bro. Got you on that, bro. Two of these, 11. Two of these, 11, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Tinker Rhyme. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, let me just get these acronyms. Too. Got you, size 11. Yeah. Sit. Your total is gonna be 2,760 and 60 cents. So, AB, thanks so much for coming through. As you guys can see, got some sneakers, got some clothes. You know where to find them, 84 in the end zone this season. Show you, man.